the luck with that name, Jabby. Hello, Hello people. I'm Jabby Koe, joined by Achar Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Coke. I had it. I had it. <laughs> I had this name. I said it, and I had it. <laughs> Hello, people. I'm Jabby Koe, joined by Achar Kirk. Hi there. We're going to look at Kola Mabu Kokila or Coco in brackets, the official trailer with Nayanathara. Not, did I say that? No. No, you did not. Nayanthara. This has way more upvotes than downvotes. Oh, yeah. 111,000 upvotes, 3.4 thousand downvotes. That's pretty good. That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was a little bit confused about what was going on there. I have a semblance of an idea. The most important thing is that we're following this girl, and that's what I got. Yeah, she's um, smuggling drugs. There's yeah, well, that, that was yeah, yeah. That part was clear as well. And she is, gets in bed with the wrong group of people, from what I can tell. Like you said, it's, it's not too clear whether it's something that her family is involved in, and yeah. now she has to carry it out because something's gone wrong. The adventure of the movie is not actually clear yet, because it said they had to smuggle things, but it seemed like the crux, that wasn't the crux of the movie, that was just kind of the inciting incident, because she's smuggling this thing and then ends up getting involved with she's these criminals. Cocaine. She's, yeah, she's smuggling cocaine and gets involved with these criminals, and then that's where the story actually begins. What they gave us in the trailer was only like the first 20, 30 30 minutes and then bits of what comes later on and I think that what's indicated by that gun sequence with her holding the gun is that she ends up becoming a villain an anti-hero in the movie. Yeah or it's just like her journey right because in the beginning she's just like your regular sweet girl she's got family she's got a sister mother father people that she cares about yeah. and throughout the course of that she has to do this bad thing yeah. yeah, I'm presuming to help her family in some way. And then along the way, she changes and maybe, yeah, maybe she does become the bad guy or discovers something about herself. I was a little bit confused as to the the heavier guy's involvement, the big guy who's in love with her or something. Oh. So he's tagging along because he's guided by his... <laughs> I was going to use some crass language. He's guided by his heart. He's guided by his crush on her, thinking with his love, <laughs> thinking with his emotions, not with his logic and brains. His other brain. So, yeah, exactly, his other brain. He's tagging along for the wrong reasons and ends up getting involved in this situation that he realizes is regretful. He doesn't actually want to be part of At least that's what I'm gathering here, because she seems like... She's going all the way in order to, I guess, which you, I don't know how you got that, but I guess to help out her family. I didn't get that from the trailer. That That's what that was about? I think so. Okay, I mean, that's so what that I got went over my head a little bit. Certain regional languages, either Tamil or Telugu, I'm not sure which one, the, the, the dialogue is so fast and the sentences are so long and then it moves on to the next one. That's stylistically a, a trope of South Indian movies that I will find. Like every South Indian movie I've watched, there are leagues of dialogue. <laughs> 
<laughs> where it's just like these pe these people are shooting through lines super fast and I'm like, okay, hold on. Like I'm going back and forth trying to keep up with the information. I don't want to lose the visual. What I really like about this trailer as well is like the tone of it seems very grounded. It's very interesting you should say that, but go on with that. I have a counterpoint to that. Oh, you do? <laughs> to me, it seemed pretty real, even though it was like, oh, it's a musical as well. And they were selling it as a musical and there was some cool music in there too. But it didn't really have that thing that I find so often in, especially South Indian trailers, but sometimes Bollywood trailers as well, where they'll, they'll just suddenly break into like a song and dance number mm -hmm. and then go back to the story. But like this seems to be quite gritty and grounded the entire time, like even the color palette and everything to me, it's not too bright. Yeah. You know, it's kind of muted and dusty. It would seem to me just from, you know, at a cursory glance that her family doesn't actually know the depths of this situation, like the dangers that befall them or, or the potential dangers that would befall them or, or their family getting involved with this d drug situation. Well, Even the mom was like, you should come along. It'll be, you know, like, yeah. the, I mean, I, I can't tell what her tone is. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if when they were saying this chalk powder, yeah. if they were saying it with air quotations or like genuinely they thought it was chalk powder. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused as to the character's objectives, just like, Initially, at least, and then what they, uh, it's obvious what happens when they end up in this situation, like the uh, radical changes happen, there are people who are killed, and then she becomes a villain herself, is what it looks like so far. Yeah. But what their thought was going into it isn't clear to me, and maybe it doesn't need to be, maybe when you watch the film everything is a lot more crystal clear, but like at the outset right now I'm just a little bit confused, and that's alright, like maybe another trailer or watching the film itself, like I said, will make more sense of things. Mm -hmm. But to what you were saying a second ago about it being a grounded thing, I did get the sense that there were aspects of this that were grounded, but the fact that it's a musical kind of just threw me off a little bit. I was like, okay, so it's almost like if Uttar Punjab or Ugly was had, had, was a musical. Like, it's a strange story to turn into a musical. But I don't know if that's just kind of saying it's a musical in the sense that there's some nice music in it. No, like, I think Do you think they're going to break out into a song and dance in the middle of a caper? I was waiting for that in this commercial. So was I. And it didn't come though, so I, I'm thinking maybe it won't. I'm I, I think that it might come in the next trailer. And so I'm very curious to see that aspect of this, the transition. I was watching a review from Half in the Bag on La La Land, and one of the things they were talking about in there was the lighting. And they said in order to effectively do a musical, there, I mean, the rules are going to be different, right, for American films and Indian films. But in order to effectively do a musical, you have to kind of break the fourth wall a little bit and communicate to the audience, this is a musical moment, True. the lighting has to change, etc. And so there does need to be, I mean, as an, as an American, an ignorant American, because I didn't love La La Land, I think there might need to be some kind of shift. But I, I'm just very curious to see how they're going to make that happen. I'm, I'm super curious, in a positive way. I, I really want to see how they pull this off. And I think we saw the lead actress, Nayan Thara, in the trailer for Imaika Nodigal. People were saying, oh, you know, she's an amazing actress, but like we couldn't really gauge that from just watching that trailer. But I think... I'm sorry, but you think what? But I think definitely from watching this, you can kind of see that she's someone who has range. Like her acting style, seems very understated but like there's a lot going on underneath you know i okay i don't disagree but i don't know what's going on underneath yeah. I mean, this is from a commercial obviously but like even in commercials sometimes you can tell when a character is understated you can see what's going on underneath you can get a sense like we've been talking about sacred games because we've been reviewing that you can see exactly what's going on in the characters heads without the character saying anything yeah uh, the very first scene in sacred games you could tell right away what was going on with Saif Ali Khan here I, I'm like I see the Ryan Gosling uh, approach that she's mm -hmm. using that she's utilizing here of it's very very kind of stoic and it's one of those things where you're kind of projecting onto the character what she's feeling, which is not a bad way to go. I just have no idea because I don't have much context to go off of what exactly she's feeling. So in a trailer, it's just a little bit confusing. But um, I'm sure that in the movie... It'll make more sense. It'll make sense. Yeah. Yeah. 
hopefully. I can certainly say that without the musical elements in there, I do like it's the GP's work here. Siva Kumar Vijayan, working with the director Nelson, like they, they're creating some very beautiful imagery here, even though it's dark and gritty. It still has, like, even this shot we're frozen on, you see her between the, well, not blinds, but the They're beads. Like these beaded curtains. Yeah, the juxtaposition of the color with the tiger and the green on the tiger and mm -hmm. the yellow on her. Like, the lighting's just very beautiful and yeah. on point. The DOP, the, the director of photography, he knows his stuff. It's great. I just really want to see how they transition into the musical, like, and how all that works out. I'm super curious. So, I wonder if it's going to be anything like, um, what was that movie called? The one with the young kid who, like, Beyond the Clouds. Beyond the Clouds, is that what it was called? I'm wondering if it's anything like that in terms of its style. Anyways, you guys, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be honest, be verbose. Tell us what you think, what you like, what you didn't like, what you're excited about, how you're feeling about the acting, how you feel about the DOP, director of photography. I, I like what he's doing here. And, uh, and how you feel about the music, all the things. Let us know your thoughts. And um, what do you think of a Char's haircut? <laughs> <laughs>